Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, my name is Mings, and I welcome you guys uh, to unironically one of my favorite maps in Advanced Wars. It is time to take on the Sea Fortress. God, the introduction to this map is so wonderful. Where did that Sea Fortress come from? Crush it! Adder, will the fortress be completed on schedule? Yes, we're proceeding without delays. And the mini cannons? All eight of them haven't been constructed on the site you selected. Then all is well. Commander, we have reports of a large green earth force heading this way. I estimated they'd be appearing about this time. They're all air units. Hold on, er, uh, I think so, sir. Nothing but air units, sir. How predictable. Deploy our troops immediately. Y yes, sir. But are they really all air units? I don't know, man. They might need to check their intel division. Mission 28, Sea Fortress! Attention, all units. Target that fortress and open fire. Oh no. Hold on, sir. This is no good. There are anti-aircraft units everywhere. What? I knew we were coming? Ugh, what should I do? If we allow them to complete that factory, Green Earth will suffer. If we press our attack, we might win, but the casualties will be enormous. Commander, let us continue with the attack. But... We're Green Earth's strongest force. We cannot lose. That's what you always tell us, isn't it? He's right, sir. We won't be beaten by the likes of those black hole thugs. We can't sit by and let him complete that fortress. We can't. Let's hit him, Commander. Come on, sir. My soldiers. All right. We proceed as planned. Aim for the heart of their offensive power, the mini cannons. Let's give them a show of power they won't soon forget. What an intro. What an intro. Oh, I love it so much. Uh, yeah, we're, we... we <laughs> On hard mode, you got some ships with you for some reason, so... Yeah, Black Hole's Intel Division kind of sucks. But yeah, welcome to hard mode of, um... Or the hard mode version of, uh, the Great Sea Fortress map. This map is ridiculously hard. Uh, it is an incredibly difficult mission. You gotta play very carefully here. You can't just charge into the enemy's anti-air. You'll need to be strategic. Lightning Strike is going to be absolute key in winning this. You have to time your Lightning Strike with your attack. And ideally, you want to win on the turn after your Lightning Strike. Ideally, or maybe on the turn that you pop Lightning Strike, although that can be kind of hard. What you want to do is you want to use your battleships to take out these two front cannons here, while most of your bombers darts around and focuses on the mini cannons. You want to try and kill as few as Hawk's units as absolutely possible. You don't want to give him more Black uh, Storm than he, he needs to get. So just be very careful about that. Just... Ignore his units as much as possible. We obviously need to kill these air units. There's nothing we can really do about that. But what you can do, it is kind of a nice rule of thumb on this mission, is you can always move your fighters straight ahead. And the reason why you can move your fighters straight ahead is they'll create sort of a shield for the rest of your battlecopters. And as you can see, his units are just perfectly aligned. And you can do the same thing with these battlecopters. You can move them uh, forward at their maximum capacity because... They're actually also aligned in such a way that they won't ever be in range. So that's kind of nice. I like that a lot. And then you can do this. Uh, but you do have to be a little bit cautious about the fighters. You don't want to ram your bombers straight into them. But I, I do believe you can also send your bombers at a maximum distance forward. And uh, as much as it sucks that you have to deal with naval units as eagle, these naval units are actually very important. Uh, especially the battleships. We need them to destroy a black cannon. Because we need, we need as many bombers on the other side of the fortress as humanly possible. You have a lot of bombers, luckily. So that's good. And you'll be needing every single one of these guys. Alright, there we go. And you will have to eat a black storm. If you can somehow make black, um, <laughs> if you can, if you can somehow make, I almost said, if you can somehow make black pop his hawk wave. If you can somehow make uh, hawk pop his black wave, that's going to be very good for you. Now you'll really feel Eagle's uh, lack of firepower here on his cruisers. Normally cruisers one-shot battlecopters, not so for Eagle. I believe he gets 30% less firepower. 
Yeah, it does. It, it's, it's, it's quite considerate. Uh, or considerable, I should say, not considerate. It's not like he's being very considerate. He's, uh... I don't know. My English sucks today. So, uh, we'll do this. And, uh... As a rule of thumb, you always want to attack with the units in the back first. Because your units in the front have more targets than the ones in the back. So, for, for example, this Battlecopter can only attack this Battlecopter, so we might as well send him forward. And it is kind of important that you kill as many units as possible, because after this turn, I you almost guaranteed will get a Black uh, Storm. So, it's very important that you uh, kill as many of his units as possible, because these Battlecopters will get healed up to 4 HP Battlecopters, which will hit a lot harder after the Black Storm hits. So, very important to keep this in mind. So, yeah, uh, he actually left a fighter behind. That's kind of weird. He normally doesn't do that. Huh. That's weird. I wonder why he did that. That's actually very... It's very unusual that, that he does that. Hmm, okay. But, yeah. Get as many first strikes as possible. I, I don't think there's any point in trying to manipulate his power here. Because he uses Black Storm at the end of his turn anyway. So... I mean, what you can try to do is you can try to not attack his fighter. Because the fighter is by far worth the most. But, uh, I don't know, I don't think there's that much need to do it. You can try, I guess. But now that he actually doesn't send his fighter in, that means I can actually use two of my fighters to kill his uh, Bottlecopters. And then I can save some HP on my other Bottlecopters. Because normally he moves in both of his fighters, but this time around, for whatever reason, he kept one of his fighters in the back, which is kind of odd. But, uh, it's a good thing for me, I think. I mean, just gives me more HP on my Bottlecopters. Anyway, let's take a look at his power meter. So, he's gotten his black wave now. I'm almost tempted to not attack him anymore. But I'm obviously not going to do that. I'm pretty sure he's going to use Black Storm anyway. So, I'm going to do this. So, now at least that fighter is re uh, removed. So, it can't heal and come back and be annoying. Let's see. Yeah, one... one... <laughs> There's two Battlecopters left. I could try to surround them, which would actually be kind of funny. You know what? I'm, this is not something that I usually do on this map, but I'm actually going to try this. I'm going to surround them with my bombers, and maybe, just maybe, Hawk won't get his Black Storm on the, uh, at the end of this turn, which might allow me to destroy some more units. It's worth a shot, I think. As long as I don't lose any bombers, I think we're fine. And I can uh, keep my Bottlecopters around here so that Hawk will target them rather than my fighters. Which I am completely okay with. Now, there are some submarines here. You gotta be very careful. Uh, there's one here. And they will dive at some point, so you wanna try and sniff them out. Alright, let's see if this actually works. So yeah, right now you can see he has... Okay, so he's gonna attack one of my Bottlecopters, but that's not enough to get a Black Storm. The reason why I almost never do this is because he always sends his fighter towards me. Oh, he combines them together. Okay, nice. Alright. Okay. I am kinda happy about this. Okay, uh, do I have my Cruiser in range of his fighter? Yes, I do. Uh, yeah, I got one of them in range, so might as well go for it, right? This is pretty pathetic damage, considering it's a cruiser, but it means I will be able to completely kill this fighter without taking any casualties, so that's nice. And of course, next turn we will be forced to eat a Black Storm, there's nothing we can really do about that. So, however, um, okay, so I do believe... Yeah, the submarines are no threat to us, and the mini cannons are over here, so as long as we stay out of range of them, we should be fine here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the bombers like this. Uh, actually, yeah, so I don't remember where the sub dived, but I'm going to try and keep my battleship out of arm's way. Like so. And then we have, yeah, we have all fighters left to deal with the battlecopters. So this was definitely good for me. Now these fighters, uh, after you take down all the aircraft, they stop being useful. At least as far as taking down air units are concerned. But they still have a very crucial role in that they can block Hawk's anti-air. And that's actually very nice. Uh, because if you can block Hawk's anti-air, then that means that you can rush past the cannons in the back. 
usually anti will actually prioritize fighters because they can't shoot back. And they're worth almost as much as bombers. So yeah, look at that. Nice. Uh, let's uh, put some more bombers up. They're not in range, which is very good for us. And we want to be careful. The, the black cannons definitely have some range. There are no missiles here, though, so we are safe for the time being. There we go. All right. Let's send the cruiser up. I hope I haven't placed my battleship in range of a sub. That would be very awkward. I don't think I did, though. Pretty sure I didn't. All right. Let's embrace... <laughs> Brace up and uh, prepare for the Black Storm, guys. It's gonna come now. This is the end. So you're gonna have to deal with 8 HP bombers, but... And that's actually very annoying, because 8 HP Eagle Bombers, I think they deal like 98% damage to the uh, mini cannons, and I think this is very much by design. I think this mission is very much designed this way. So you can't just, um... Come on, move. Move, you stupid cruisers. Don't stand still. Okay, good thing he unsubmerged, but still. I actually prefer... There's one thing you can do with these subs. Uh, normally, I can kill them now, because he just popped his power, but... If he pops his power before before then, you could consider using some Battlecopters to box these subs in. That way you won't have to deal with them. And you won't have to give Hawk like 40,000 funds worth of CO power charge. Now it's no problem, because... Um, this time around, uh, he popped his power one turn later, so now I can deal with them for free, essentially. So that's not really a big deal, but it's still it's something to consider if you if you don't want to um, if you don't want to give him extra power charge. Now I'm gonna lure the cruisers in with my fighters, I think, because uh, again, w once these battlecopters are down, these fighters have nothing more to shoot at, so I might as well get as much out of them as possible. There we go. And now I want to think whether or not I want to use my cruisers to target the subs. I obviously don't want to take damage from the mini cannons unless I can avoid it. So uh, I think I'm going to actually use my bombers to destroy the submarine. And the reason why I'm going to use my bombers to destroy the submarine is that I want the battleships to move as close to the cannons as possible so they can start shelling them. With Eagle, it's going to take a little while. This is um, his uh, battleships aren't exactly quality uh, units. See, so, yeah, I think we'll just we'll lure that uh, cruiser in with a battlecopter. Battlecopters are not fantastic against submarines, but they get the job done. If you have enough of them, it's fine. So I'll just use battlecopters. There we go. I don't know why he unsubmerged his subs. The AI is very strange. I think it's. I think it has some kind of script to conserve fuel, so it, it, it has some kind of like AI code to like, okay, you've been submerged for one turn, now unsubmerge or else you're gonna sink. But it kind of tends to unsubmerge at very strange times, especially like this. Like, imagine how much more powerful these subs would have been if they remained submerged and targeted my battleships, but that is not what they end up doing. So you, you can't throw away too many battlecopters because you do need them to finish off the mini cannons. Uh, basically, how you want to do this is you want the bombers to attack first, and then you want the battlecopters to finish them off. That's how I like to do it, at any rate. So, yeah, I'm gonna put my first battleship up here, and that should be in range to start shelling this cannon, which is nice. And then I'm gonna put my second battleship right at the location of this bomber right here. So now that I've put one unit in range. I might as well put more units in range. There's not really any point not to. So I'm going to do this. Uh, and then I want a bomb. Well, I don't want to put any bombers in range unless I can avoid it. So I'm going to try not to do that. Because, so again, your bombers are your most valuable units on this mission. You need to try and keep them alive as much as possible. Your other units, though, you can definitely send them around like this. And on this mission, you don't really have to worry about your rankings. You're gonna get a perfect S rank. Like, no pro no worries at all. You're gonna kill so many units in one turn with, with Lightning Strike. You don't have to worry about your power ranking. Speed is also pretty lenient. So don't worry about that. There we go. 
going to move you like this. Now, you, if I want to here, and I think I actually want to, I can send my cruisers forward and um, take out the Bottlecopters just to get rid of them. Because it's not like the cruisers serve, serve any fu uh, function anymore. I think there might be one more sub on this map. No, there's two more cruisers, actually. So I will take some damage from the mini cannons doing this, but it's not really going to end up mattering all that much. I can always combine the cruisers together if I want to. There we go. And yeah, as long as we keep the bombers safe, we're all good. That is the objective of this map. Just keep your bombers alive. So we'll do this. And we'll do this. And this. Again, I wish there was a global range checker in this game. That would be so incredibly helpful. Alright, let's see what he does. Well, aside from shooting on my cruiser, obviously. Alright, going for my Bottlecopter. Kind of hoped he would go for the fighter. I'm kind of surprised he didn't go for the fighter. So one thing you can definitely do is ignore these two cruisers and just dart forward with your air units, but it might come back to bite you. So it's probably a good idea to try and take them out. Now, I think I might use my uh, I might use my battleships for this. In fact, it might be time to pop lightning strike. I'm not entire. I think I'll wait one more turn before I do that. So what I like to do on this turn is I like to set myself up for the lightning strike. And what you want to be careful about is this missile. And obviously the, the, the cannons, so you don't want to put yourself in range of the cannons. But you can pretty much consider these three areas as safe spaces. <laughs> I don't know why that keeps being funny, but it is. So you can move your bomber up here. And again, I just have to keep checking just to make sure. You can move a bomber up here. And putting all your bombers up here is very good because that gives them a lot of avenues to attack here later. And it... In my experience, you should try and save these two cannons for last. And the reason why you want to try and save these two cannons for last is uh, there are four anti-air here who are all being held back by these two cannons. Now, there's a lot of missiles here too, but uh, as you may have learned in one of my recent videos, missiles have a huge minimum range, which you can exploit. So, I think the first thing I'm going to do here, I don't like giving Hulk all this power charge, but these cruisers have got to go. So, let's attack them a little bit. Our battleships can work on the cannons next turn. There we go. So that's uh, sadly a lot of CO power charge for Hawk, because cruisers are so damn expensive. We just want to make sure we don't accidentally give him a black wave. That would be that would be kind of awkward. Uh, so we have some uh, battle copters. Yeah, they, they do so much damage to cruisers. It's pathetic, man. It is absolutely pathetic. Now these are eagle battle copters, but still, it's it's ridiculous how bad cruisers are. There we go. I think this is a... Yeah, this is also a safe zone. So we can move our bomber up here. And we can start doing the same thing over here. And I do believe the same rules apply here. Actually, not quite. Uh, most, of, most of this island is actually safe, so... And again, don't attack his artillery. Don't bother. Don't do that. You'll, you'll just end up giving him free power charge, so, so don't do that. You want to minimize the damage done to Hawk until the turn where you pop your uh, Lightning Strike. At that point, he will get a Black Wave, but hopefully at that point, it'll be too late. So, I still have my Cruiser. I do think I want to destroy the sub. And the reason why I want to destroy the sub is uh, it can still kind of do damage to me. So, I'm going to try and do that. So, let's move the Bottlecopter up here. Again, the Fighter might be useful later on. I don't know. We'll have to see. But I'll go and do this. Take out the submarine. That's just barely enough damage to kill it. Man, eagle subs are so, or eagle cruisers are so goddamn bad. Okay. Uh, and then we can continue setting up here. I, can the bomber dart pass? No, it cannot. I might just have to keep it here. But that's actually fine. That is actually not a bad thing at all. And we'll put the other fighter here. And I'm actually going to keep this bomber here, I think. 
And I'm gonna keep my Bottlecopter right here. I do believe that's okay. Yeah, it is fine to keep it here. So I'm gonna attack from the front here next turn, or at least that's the plan. I'll keep the other Bottlecopters here as well. It's nice to keep some Bottlecopters in the center, but the Fighters I definitely like to send to the side. Because I'll be using them to uh, soak up Missile Fire and block on Tire. There we go. Alright, let's see if I calculate it correctly and stay out of range of all cannons. It looks like I did. I don't think he's gonna do anything this turn. Nope, it's not gonna do anything this turn. Okay, here comes the Mega Push. And we're of course gonna be popping Lightning Drive. Okay, we're just, just, just joking, guys. Uh, <laughs> so here you kinda wanna make a decision on whether or not you wanna target some of his anti or not. What you can do, I mean, the safe play is to try take out the missile on the Empire. Uh, but the big bull move is to go straight for the cannons. Now, I know I said you should take these out last, but I'm actually kind of having second thoughts because these cannons are so conveniently in range right now. I'm actually, I, I'm wondering if I might be able to win, actually, on this turn. Because I'll get a firepower increase from my lightning drive. It'll set my firepower up to 30%, and I think that's just enough for 8 HP bombers to one-shot cannons. So, I actually think if I just go for it right now, I think we will actually be okay. So, you know what? That's exactly what I'm gonna do. I might be wrong. I might very well be wrong. But at least it will be fun. There is one thing that kind of sucks with this, and that's the power ranking, but I think I got that at the start of the mission anyways. I don't really need, think I need to worry about it. So I think we're fine. Can I dart past here? No, I cannot. Could get some help from uh, Battleship Chan, though. Actually, I didn't need to attack here, because I got my battleships, but you know what? It's okay. There we go, and again, I'm just not going to attack him, because there's no point. And once you move forward, you you might as well move forward with all of your troops. There's no, there's no sense in holding back at this point. And uh, yeah, I'm going to keep my fighters here to try and ward off some of these Antire. Oh, uh, and yeah, so this... This cannon will die, so will this cannon. I guess there's no point in not attacking it, though. Alright, here we go. Lightning strike time. The eagle soars above you! Here we go. Let's see if I did my calculations uh, correctly. Oh, I actually didn't kill this thing. Okay, thank God. <laughs> Alright, okay, 61 left on that guy, so I gotta keep that in mind. Okay, 8 HP bombers. 98? Okay, alright, that's... Okay. Okay. That's actually kind of bad. Um, can I salvage this? Ooh. Okay. Movement on bombers, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. If I kill the missile, if I kill the missile, I'll get past this. I got two bombers here, so I'm good on that front. Okay, I have another bomber here. I think what I, actually, yeah, I think what I'm gonna do, I'm going to use this bomber and to attack the missile. There we go, and now I just need a Bottlecopter. Oh wait, did I just mess up? Uh... One, two, three, four, five, six, god damn it, did I just mess up? I think I just messed up, guys. That was the bomber I was supposed to use, no! Ah, uh, shit. I think I messed up. Yep, I definitely messed up. I messed up! Rip my technique ranking! Ah no! Not the hacking rankeritos! Ah. Well that kinda sucks. 
Uh, so there's a couple of things I can try and do here. I got some bombers left. I can kill some anti-air. Might not be a bad idea. Just try and mitigate some of the damage done to my units. Should be able to kill most of them with my lightning strike, so... Yeah, at least I can take down two of them. Here we go. So yeah, if I had just moved that other bomber slightly differently, we would have been absolutely fine right now. So yeah, I'm just gonna be putting fighters in front of Antire. Try and do my best to mitigate as much of much much of the damage as I can. I can at the very least kill this missile chan right here. I'm pretty sure he won't have the firepower to destroy all of my aircraft next turn. I will get a black storm most likely. And it's gonna suck a little bit, but it's not really gonna be a big deal. Oh, never mind. Actually, I won't get a black storm. Okay, never mind. Piece of cake. Maybe I shouldn't attack him then. Ah, I'm not gonna attack him anyway. He's not gonna get his black storm anyway. This is fine. Okay! Ha ha! Ha ha! I don't know why that felt so good. Alright. Time for the massacre to begin. He might very well pop his Black Storm at the end of his turn, because he's gonna be destroying so many air units this turn. He's probably gonna get his Black Storm. And Hawk does indeed... He can pop it twice. Um, wow, that that defense, though. Uh, Hawk, Hawk's AI can pop um, his power at three different intervals. He can pop it at the start of his turn. He can pop it mid-turn after all of his indirects are done firing. And he can pop it at the end of his turn. Those are the three stages in which Black Storm... Yeah, there, yeah see there? He's done with his indirects, and he pops it. So, uh, it's a lot harder to manipulate Hawk's CO power. At least compared to how it used to be in Advanced Force 1, where you basically just had to ensure that they didn't get his power, th their power at the start of the turn. You can't do that anymore. Uh, that won't work. Look at my defense, man. Lightning Strike gives you some pretty nice durability. I mean, that's pretty insane. Look at that. I do believe he gets 30% defense. And that's just the baseline, so I think it would actually be closer to 40, right? That's pretty nice. I'm definitely not getting a good technique ranking for this one, though. Ow, ow, ow. Oh, <laughs> attacking me with Neo Tanks. Why does he have Neo Tanks on this mission? Why would he put a Neo Tank if he knew that Eagle would only be sending air units? That's a very good question. I guess to attack cruisers? Neo tanks actually do very decent damage to cruisers, funnily enough. <laughs> nice of you to attack me with a Neo tank instead of an Untire, good hawk. You gotta love how the AI needs to take its turns in, se in perfect sequences. It's like, no, 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 I gotta move the Neo tanks first. Oof. Oof. So many units killed due to one silly mistake. God, I hope I have bombers left now. Haha! <laughs> that is some crazy defense. Okay. I think we're still good, guys. Still, I, I think we're still good. Commander, the mini cannons, they're all. They've been destroyed? That's it then. We shall withdraw. Look at that. The enemy's abandoning the fortress. It appears that we've won. Shall we launch a pursuit, sir? No. We deal with the fortress first. Yes, sir. You have my gratitude. It was your bravery that led me, led us to victory. Thank you, sir. We appreciate that. The war has just begun. The road before us will be long and hard. That's <laughs> what Sami said. No problem, sir. As long as you're in command, we can't lose. What a great mission. Oh, okay, A rank. Not bad. Yeah, 
It would have been a perfect 300 if I had, hadn't oopsied with my bomber there. There is no one who can defeat us, except for uh, Andy. And it defeated us quite a bit, actually. But but no one else. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, we are officially halfway through the Green Earth campaign. And I do believe next up is the volcano mission, right? Yeah, if we're doing if we're doing the CO's in sequence, then yeah. This is actually my least favorite mission in the entire game. I'm not looking forward to it. I mean I'm always looking forward to playing Advanced Wars, but. This is the mission that I that I like the least. It's incredibly annoying to play. I, I don't think anyone likes this mission. Does anyone like volcano missions in Advanced Wars? I don't. Anyway, like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. And I shall see you guys next time. Bye-bye!